Hey everybody, RetroPie Guy here. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your arcade cabinets controls on RetroPie. Um, for this particular setup here, I'm using my wall-mounted uh, bar top arcade cabinet. I have a six button configuration here, joysticks, two players, um, select buttons on the sides, and then I have these buttons actually in the front here, which I'm not going to be using. I bought this as a kit and it already had the holes drilled in the front of it. I'm not going to be using them, I just don't like the layout for um, using them in games, and I already have the buttons on the side for select, so just don't need those, but they fill the holes and they light up, so I'm going to be leaving them there, but not actually configuring anything to those. So um, first thing we're going to do, if this is your first time setting this up, then you're going to boot up your system, you're going to automatically come to the page where you can actually go right into the mapping process. I've already set these up, so I'm going to be setting up over the existing setup, so if you already have like a game had controller set up on here or anything like that, then um, what you're going to need to do is exactly what I'm doing here, which is open up your main menu. I have that um, off of my start button here. If you already have a controller set up on your system, just go ahead through the controller and access all of this. So once you get to your main menu, you're going to drop down to configure input. We're going to select that. It's going to say, are you sure you want to configure input? We'll go ahead and select yes. And now this is where you come to your configure input page. So here, because I have two setups here, I have um, player one and player two, it's registered as two gamepads detected. That's because all the controls for player one go into a uh, USB encoder that attaches to the Raspberry Pi. Same thing for player two, so they are totally separate. So we're gonna start with player one. So I'm gonna hit any button on the player one side in order to set this up. So I'm just gonna hold that down. It's going to bring us right to our configuring page. Just make sure if you're on player one, it says gamepad one, unless of course you already have a gamepad controller um, totally separate from your um, control board setup, then it may you know label it a little bit different. So in order to get started here, we're going to be using the D-pad for the joystick because we don't actually have you know a regular D-pad on here. So for D-pad up, we're just going to push our joystick up. For D-pad down, pull it down. D-pad left, we're just gonna put that joystick over to the left, and for D-pad right, push it over to the right. So for start, we're gonna hit our start button. For me, it's this player one. For select, I have my select buttons on the side here. I'm just gonna hit that. And now for A, I'm going to put this middle button here, so the bottom red button. For B, I'm gonna put the bottom blue button. For X, I'm gonna put the top red button in the middle. And for Y, I'm gonna do the top blue button here. Now for left shoulder, I'm going to do my top green button. And for right shoulder, I'm going to do my bottom green button. So now for left trigger, I'm out of buttons on here. If you have an eight button configuration instead of six like I have here, you would have another row of two. So then you could go and put the uh, top button as your left trigger and the bottom button as your right trigger. Again, I just have the six, so I'm going to be skipping these. Now, in order to skip options on here, all you have to do is just hold down any of the buttons you already configured. So I'm just gonna hold this um, bottom red button here and just bypass all of these. Uh, we don't have any thumbs, we don't have analogs. Uh, so we're just gonna bypass all these remaining options and go down to the hotkey. Now the hotkey option at the bottom is going to be the button that we hit in order to exit ROMs. So I always map these. I could actually use these buttons here, but I have a feeling that while playing this, it'll be super easy to hit these buttons. So I'm just gonna assign it to the select button, which is pretty standard. Most people do that. So I just hit the select button. Now that means that if I'm in a game and I wanna exit that game, jump back out to my game collection menu, I would just hit the select button and start at the same time. That's gonna enable the hotkey and it'll automatically exit us from that exact ROM. So have that assigned to the select button. So we're just gonna hit okay. In order to hit okay, just hit the A button. It'll load for a second. And once we get back to our main menu here, we know that that's all set. So we just did everything for player one. We have to do the exact same thing over here on player two. So now we can use this to navigate. You can see that I'm able to go up and down on my main menu. So I'm going to select configure input once again. It's gonna ask me that same question here. Are you sure you wanna configure input? We'll go ahead and select yes. So now over here, it's going to say um, two gamepads detected. Again, it's detecting player one and player two. So we're gonna jump over to player two, hold down any button, and it's gonna bring us into that configuring page. 
Again, it says gamepad two here. This is player two, so everything is good. We're just gonna go through the same process again. So D-pad up, D-pad down, D-pad left, D-pad right, start. We're gonna hit the player two start button, select. I have the same button over here for select. Um, now A is gonna be the middle bottom um, red button. B is going to be my bottom blue button. X is going to be my top red button. Y is going to be my top blue button. Left shoulder is going to be my top green button. And right shoulder is going to be my bottom green button. Again, just six buttons, so I'm going to be skipping the remaining options here and jumping right down to that hotkey. And again, for hotkey, just gonna hit select again. So if I wanna exit a ROM, just to remind you once again, hit the start and the select button for player two, and that's going to exit you from any games. I'm gonna hold down A to save all of these. It's gonna load for a second. Once I'm back to the main menu, I can go ahead and exit this by hitting the B button anywhere on here. Um, both players are working now, so um, you can see I can scroll through my menu with my left joystick and the same thing with my right. Uh, if I want to jump into a collection, I'll hit A on either side here, and it'll bring me right into my game collection. Hit B to back out, and you can easily navigate right through all of your menus, and you are fully good to go on here. All right, so that's going to do it for today. If you have any questions at all, feel free to hit me up in the comments section. I'm usually pretty easy to get a hold of. You can also contact us through the website as well. Um, if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to our channel here. We do a whole bunch of tutorials just like this one, gameplay demos, product reviews, just a lot of great stuff around retro gaming. And of course, check us out online on our website, www.retropieguy.com. Thanks for watching.